This is BBC News. I'm Karen Giannone. These are the latest headlines in the UK and around the world. Russia says it will drastically reduce military activity in parts of Ukraine, but Ukraine's president says he'll judge Russia by concrete results. Helping in any way they can, we meet some of the people offering aid and comfort to people who fled Ukraine. Israel's prime minister says the country is facing a new wave of terror after another deadly attack. And saying farewell to one of Australia's greatest ever cricketers, a state memorial service is taking place for Shane Warne. Hello and welcome if you're watching in the UK or around the world. The UN says thousands of civilians may have died in Ukraine since the invasion began. Christina Katrakis is an ambassador for the Foundation for UN Sustainable Development Goals. She is responsible for humanitarian aid and refugee management for the organization in Ukraine. And she's been speaking to us from Vorokta in the west of the country, where she's helping a group of refugees get to Germany for medical treatment after they came under attack while trying to get out of Ukraine. And a warning, some may find the details of injuries in this interview disturbing. They survived hell. Truly, uh, heavily.